Hi, this is Ryan Simmons with Cartoon Solutions. I'm going to be demonstrating a really easy lighting technique that you can use in your animations. Uh, we have a sample animation. This is uh, from a TV commercial I did a few years ago. And this guy sitting here and his computer is going to explode. So I'm just scrubbing through the animation. So he's got this electricity coming around and then he's got this um, smoke that kind of comes up. Well, to emphasize his computer exploding, what we want to do is we kind of have this want to have this bright flash of light. And this is again, this is so easy to do, and it just adds so much to it. So what I have here, this top layer, I have a, a layer called blast. And right here, after this electricity goes into the back of his computer, we're going to add um, a couple frames right here. We're going to hit F7, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to add just I'm going to cover the entire animation with uh, just white and that's why it's got to be the top layer so that you can kind of mask everything underneath it okay so just move around here so all I have to do is just use this uh, rectangle tool and make the color white and we can just drag it like that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a white frame and then here we're gonna have a black frame so let's hit F6 keyframe that and then let's just change the color to black hit our bucket and just fill that and then we want to go back to white again so we can just hit F7 oh well let's undo that hit F6 sorry about that and we'll just hit white and bucket then we can turn it off we'll just clear that by hitting F7 so now as we go through let me just frame this up for you as we go through electricity comes in and boom we have that strobe effect okay so let's see what that looks like okay this is animated I think at uh, 30 frames per second and I'll let this play a little bit the way the way the flash player works is it kind of sometimes throws out frames and plus this video recording software I'm using will also throw out frames too so sometimes you might be watching it'll you'll see all of these frames sometimes you'll just see the white or the black so that's why I'm letting it play a couple times. Okay, so it just kind of wipes out the entire screen, just this brilliant flash of light. Okay, so very, very easy to do. If you want, you know, you can add more. You could um, add a couple more black and white frames. I suggest starting with the white one, just because that one seems like kind of a brilliant flash of light coming right at you. And the black is just kind of this to offset it and just make it really stroby. Okay. Let me show you another example here. This is from um, a Star Wars spoof animation I did a number of years ago as well. And let me just show you what's going on. I'll make a movie for you. Drag that over so you can see. Okay, so this is um, R2. He gets hit and he's got some effects and then he uh, explodes and all these gadgets pop out of him. So the explosion is just these flash frames again. It's just the white and the black repeated. Okay, so you can see that there. Okay, so what I have here is again, I, I, I just made a layer called Blast and it has to be the top layer just so it can wipe out everything. So we got the white, the black, the white, and then we come out of it. Okay, and it's pretty useful too because you'll, if you look here, I have I don't have any of the um, the props coming out of them yet, and then by wiping out everything underneath with these flash frames, I can just pop them on. I don't really need to animate them on, although they do just kind of move out like that. So it's useful too. You can kind of jump from one effect to another like that. Here's something else I want to show you. Instead of just um, having a white frame like this, what you can do is you can actually like grab the character like this. So I'll just I, I selected the uh, symbol of the character. I can hit copy, and then I'm going to go to a layer above the blast. Add another layer here. Enter a blank keyframe here and hit F7, and then I'm going to I'm going to do Control Shift and V, which will paste that character in place. Okay. Now this is really cool and this is again so easy to do. What we want to do is we want to to create even a more strobe effect with the character 
if the background is white let's make the character black well it's so easy to do by clicking on the symbol using our properties bar and here under color choose brightness okay and then we get this little um, slider and if we put it all the way up it's just gonna brighten that symbol up but we want to put it all the way down so that he's black so the character will be opposite of whatever is going on here in the screen okay so we know we have a white frame and we have a black frame and a white frame again so right here above the white frame again I'm gonna hit F6 to key that and then we'll go back here and we'll hit F6 again now you can see I'm, I'm black on black so I might want to turn off this blast layer temporarily so I can see click on this and again let's just use this brightness feature let's just push it the other way we'll go all the way white okay and when we turn on the visibility of our blast layer we can see the opposite effect go in there and then make sure you turn it off right here by entering a blank keyframe hit F7 there okay so let's test this you can see what this looks like so a little more stroby that way you can kinda of see the character and um, this this way is also also useful if you want to do kind of a like there's if there's a, a rainstorm and you've got lightning going and you got characters what you can do is put those characters in um, the kind of opposite mode of what's going on with the rest of the the screen with these flash frames so if you like that effect you can do that too and again not hard at all just use the brightness if your art is a symbol it's easy to do and then um, last example I want to show you this is kind of an explosion done I'm just gonna scrub through it frame by frame you have electricity coming down okay it's green electricity and then right there kind of did that same technique we just did in the, in the last shot where we have the white and we've made kind of the main element black and then here as opposed to going to black I just left the black off and went to white again you can see there and then white with the black so you don't always have to wash it out completely with black like with this example and then this turns into a big, big explosion we can just show you what this one looks like okay it's kinda of fast in fact I can slow down the uh, if I can slow down the frame rate if I just lock everything I can click on the screen I get my settings let's just take this down enter 12 right there and then we'll make our movie again a little bit slower now you can kind of see what's going on so these just adding black and white flash frames really adds a lot you can you know do this with explosions um, we have a animating an explosion video tutorial that you can pick up if you want to get some good tips on how to animate some explosions and add this flash frame strobe effect as well it's really easy to do so there you go um, go give it a try very easy to do and you get some great results too